go over here. Uh. Oh. Ah! Oh god, oh god, that looks so Whoever designed this space station was like, I know, when the lights go on, make a horrible boom, boom, boom sound. Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, I don't think that's a good idea. No, it's a great idea. You know, uh, so the building that I work in is like energy efficient, so the lights are, like, will turn off if nobody's like walking in that hallway for a while. So like when you go, oh, oh, when you go out to like go to the bathroom sometimes, like all the lights will like flicker on. Those are people. Oh God. Oh, another PDA. Isabel the Spalding. One, two, three, five, eight. Another long day in hydroponics. I planted carrots today. This place seriously sucks, but I figured the longer I work for Kane Corporation, the sooner they'll be able to replace this defective uterus of mine. Oh, so people work for them to get replacement parts from the clones, I guess? You know what? Maybe it's like they do like a like a transactional and that's why people are so willing to put up with bullshit because they're either dying or like some part of their body is failing. I have um a proposition for this lady. Um, if you're willing to sacrifice humans and your humanity for a new uterus, I feel like instead of working for this very scary company for years at a time, maybe adopt a child or get a surrogate. There's other options other than, you know, trading your soul for a uterus. I'm just I putting feel, that out there. I feel like not everybody knew though the the extent of what was going on i think it's become clear from reading the logs that some people were figuring things out and other people like didn't know what was going on and other people were totally in and other people were totally <laughs> in on it and either didn't care or you know convinced themselves that they were doing something else you know Harry is protective, and not in a cute way. It makes me feel a little un uncomfortable. His attempts to protect my honor, his words, whenever Grant even looks at me are unnerving me familiar, just like my ex-husband used to do. I'm not ready for another round of that bullshit. Oh, God. Uh, every man on this station is insane. <laughs> Half of the ship has been on lockdown for two weeks. Apparently, some new scientists boarded today, so maybe they'll be able to resolve the issue. But what do I know? I make vegetables reproduce for a living. I have to admit, Harry's whole stalker thing can be great sometimes. He's growing herbs for me so that I can make tea. What? With all of this new security bullshit, I wouldn't dare use company resources personally like that. I've been pretending to like Grant just a little bit. I don't, but it keeps Harry on his toes. What Aww, is wrong with this lady? That's so mean. That is super mean and also weird. What's wrong with her? I thought, see, everyone on this ship is a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and I, when I read stuff like that, I'm wondering, like, you know, that sounds like the type of thing that a guy would assume that a woman would do. Do you know what I mean? Yes, but also, let's I, take like, into I consideration... Like, I know that actual women do that. I, let's take into consideration this, that this ship is exclusively inhabited by what I think is vetted people who lack empathy. Like, I think everybody on this ship has been selected for a lack for their, of empathy. And you know, and they can do that by, like, you know how the Psychological testing. Yeah, psycholo to, to see if people will, like, willingly put up with things that break the rules and stuff like that. Yeah, so I think Or, like, that the moral gray area. Everybody on this ship who was hired, even that nurse who had the line at the children, the nurse didn't care mm -hmm. about the people begging for their lives. Her breaking point was the children because that just couldn't get past her logical, like, lies that she told herself. Yeah. I think everybody on this ship might have been vetted to make sure that they had a substantial lack of empathy or were exceptionally selfish. Like, exceptional accepting of the moral gray area. Yeah. So that things wouldn't bother them. Yes, I think so. That makes sense. Because even the women, even the men that she's interacting with, and the way the women interact with men, blah, 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 like, everybody seems to be, like, what? Like, whatever. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. the guy that she's manipulating, he's also kind of, like... 
She's weird. Manip- she's manipulating someone who she says is stalking her. So, and like, is- he's not good and tries to control her. So, like, he's not good. She's not good. Nobody's good. Everybody's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody... Ha- One guy, there's a mad scientist falling in love with a spine creature. Yeah. Harry opted to stay on the Groom Lake for another round. He was eligible to leave at the shift change, but he chose to stay. Gee, I wonder why he'd do that. He's a grown man, for goodness sake, but he's acting like a lovesick teen. He needs to stop fucking calling me Belle, though. It's Isabella, like the Queen of Spain. Oh my god, that guy is, like, having some sort of weird Disney fantasy. (laughs) Her name's Isabella? Mm Mm-hmm. Wasn't that the name of the baby from Twilight or something? Mm, maybe. It's Isabella, like the baby from Twilight. Like the Queen of Spain. Hold I don't on. remember a Queen of Spain being Was called Isabella. Isabella? I, th- I, th- I need to know. I really don't think there was a Queen of Spain called Isabella, unless I'm remembering incorrectly. I know that there was one Queen of Spain who was named something pretty, and she was like a total badass. She, like, murdered millions. Well, okay, murdering people isn't badass, but... No, it's Renezme. Is the name of the baby. Is the Twilight baby. Renezme. Did you know that Renezme became a popular baby name? Ew. Sorry if your name is (laughs) Renezme. No, after Twilight, so anybody listening who named Renezme, because that's not a real name. Um. Isabella of Spain. Yes, Isabella the second. Ah, uh, was she? What'd she do? She it, was Queen of Spain from uh, 1833 until 1868. Oh, she might have been the one who killed lots of people. Um, I don't know. This looks. Uh, uh you know what? I think it's a safe bet to say that any queen or king from more than 100 years ago killed lots of people, so. Yeah. Are you hearing this sick beats? <laughs> These people know how to work hard and party hard. I wonder if that's, like, from, like, the entertainment area next door or something. It probably is. They're still probably even partying now. We're gonna go in there. It's gonna be, like, meat monsters still partying. Oh, my <laughs> God. It'd be like that. It'd be like the club from Mass Effect, but just meat monsters. Like, can, like, you, ima- can you imagine if this game, like... They're like, yes, we, you know, watched actual exotic dancers perform to make our meat, our meat boxers move around just around. like real dancers. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's these like meat sacks like flopping around. And we're like, yes, we made them dance like actual exotic dancers, and they're, they're like, st- <laughs> they've been partying ho- so hard that they didn't even notice. <laughs> the what happened to the rest of the ship, and they've been turning in the monsters. Like, I thought I was just having a bad trip. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a meat sack. Oh, I thought we were just having a shared trip. <laughs> uh, I keep hearing chatter about a fungal growth spreading all over the Groom Lake. I hope it doesn't cu- get here to hydroponics. I'd be devastated if anything happened to my precious celery. There's some some sort of mutant cow going around. Spoke way too soon. I came into Hydro today to find everything coated in this strange fungus. Harry actually had a pretty good idea. What if we fought the fungus with genetically enhanced super mushrooms? There could be no problem that could happen with the genetically enhanced super super mushrooms. Nothing could go wrong. Yeah, well, I think one of the other logs had stated that they were poisonous. Yes. Oh, and also... Did you know that the largest organism in the world is a mushroom? What? Yeah. Oh, is it like a like a network? It's an underground network of mushrooms in a forest. Yeah. It's all one mushroom. Isn't that kind of scary? Yeah. Bigger than a whale? Oh, it's like an entire forest. It's literally an entire forest of oh. an underground network of mushrooms. Crazy. Isn't that gross? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Crossbreeding mushroom, the mushrooms did not improve things. Hopefully the emergency rations will get here soon. Unless people want to eat the portobellos from hell, that is. This shit is about to get dangerous. People have been beaten up. Some are even dead. We've seen a lockdown before, but it wasn't a ma- mass panic like this. Will it, will it be over soon or ever? Harry told me to stay in the sleeping block because it could be dangerous outside. You know, I have taken care of myself for 28 years without help from Harry. I think I can handle myself. 
It sounds like one of those moments where you hear horrible blood screams from outside, but then a man tries to tell you what to do, and you're like, No, I can, I'll be you're fine! Like, you know what? I'll chance it with the screams, okay? <laughs> Take my chances outside. You know what, Harry? I'm kind of done with your shit. I'd rather be outside with the blood screams, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on out there, but it's better than being with you. It's better than being with somebody who tries to tell me what to do! <laughs> Go out there, just like eaten by, by Samantha, and you're just giving him the fingers, you're dragged off. <laughs> I'd rather be Still with her! better! I'd rather be gay with her! <laughs> She's kind of awesome! <laughs> I'm not going to spend the final days of my life playing the helpless female. Oh and my I'm god! Not, yeah. <laughs> it's and, actually I'm, and I'm not going to cling to Harry, even if he's the last human being I'll ever see. He can't expect <laughs> anything oh my god. from me. It actually happened. Yeah. I like how we make up these ridiculous scenarios and then it happens. And then there's like even more proof for it. Later. <laughs> yeah. What if he fell in love with the monster? No. Oh no, my god, no, no, he did. No. What if There's she just no told way. him to fuck himself and went outside? No. Oh my god, she did. <laughs> <laughs> this game's great. Oh, there's another PDA. I wonder if that's gonna be Harry. Harry's like weird shit. Shelby. Who's Shelby? I don't know. I couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed today. Nobody came asking questions though, so that works. Sometimes when I first wake up, I wait as long as possible to say my first word of the day. Then that word serves as a prediction of how shitty that day is going to be. Naturally, Isabella woke me up by asking if I'd rather fuck H Grant or Harry. I thought she was supposed to be from some I thought she was supposed to be some kind of feminist who doesn't need a man, hypocrite. To answer the question, I'd need to do a bit of research. Harry will suffice for that. What is wrong with these women? I don't know. <laughs> This one sounds very grumpy. I feel it's like... Anyway, her question was stupid, and now I'm going to do research and fuck them both to see what else. Yeah. Crazy. Just to see what happens. I guess I'm obligated to write about the ship lockdown since it's, an all, since it's all life threatening or something. I don't even know why we carry around these PDAs. Seriously, I will never ever go back and read this shit. Did they accidentally hire a goth teenager? What is this? <laughs> no, there's no, like, lyrics in here, so... The Grim Lake got a 300% funding increase, and I have a feeling we're doing some more shady bullshit with it. Welcome aboard the Grim Lake, where as far as the universe is concerned, you don't exist. And as far as the board is concerned, you don't exist. Ah. Nothing actually exists. Humanity's gonna flip shit when they finally figure that out. Oh, okay. So Grant's gay. I knew I had seen him checking Harry out. Lips are sealed. So oh. Grant was the one that was making her tea. The one that she was like, oh, I'm... I thought that was Harry who was doing that. Uh, and then she flirted with Grant to make Harry ain't Harry jealous. Oh, to get... keep him on his toes? Yeah. It's going to be a long, painful death if we don't get these rations soon. I might have to start murdering and eating my blockmates. I'll start with Grant, because he's got the most meat on him. Harry is last, because I'm in no hurry to put my mouth on that again. Again. I guess he wasn't that great of a lover. Hey, someone's making some booze. Humanity has finally reached the apex of engineering. Space moonshine. It brings a smile to my eye and a tear to my heart. Get me some. If you know if you make moonshine incorrectly, you accidentally make poison, right? Yep. Taste. Oh, yeah, of course you... Yeah. Never mind. I do know that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> did you know? Yeah. No, I did not poison myself before anybody. She didn't. She didn't kill anybody. Yes. She didn't. And that's. She didn't kill anybody. And there's nothing buried in my backyard. Just in case you were going to ask. Because that didn't happen. That's the story. And we're sticking to it. Nobody died. Taste. Zero out of ten. Effectiveness. Ten out of ten. This stuff has to be at least 120 proof. True moonshine is 150. Yeah, fucking idiot. <laughs> Had to do something I totally don't regret to get it, and it was worth it. Liquor supplies running low, food supplies high. I'm disappointed. Here I was thinking I'd be enjoying moonshine marinated leg of Grant this evening. Disappointing. At least I didn't starve. 
Wait a second. She she just doesn't give a shit about eating people. No, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> she, I, you know, I think that it's I, like with some of them, they're like, oh, do they just like lie to themselves about the gray hairs? She's like, nah, I'd eat everybody. No worries. And she was like, aren't you supposed to be a feminist? Oh, anyway, I'm gonna eat you later. <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah. On the one hand, something exciting happened. On the other hand, we're probably going to die or something. I have no regrets. Not even that thing I did to get the moonshine. What did she do? Just have sex with somebody? She said that she didn't regret it. That's all that she said. Did she kill somebody? No, they didn't say what it was. She said, I did something, and I don't regret it. Whatever. I mean... I'm still laughing that that one woman was like, I don't need a man to tell me what to do. I'm hanging out with Samantha. Who's I don't Samantha? need no man. I'm See hanging ya. out with Samantha. Who's Samantha? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days, and I sincerely can't think of anything I regret. Not hooking up with Harry, not pursuing music instead of physics, nothing. It was all part of what made my life mine. Life carries on, so no on no matter what so I guess it's best to just be satisfied with what little I did accomplish the universe swallows you atom by atom eventually you know I'm proud of how far those atoms made it from when they first got together to form Shelby Isaacson to where they are now this lady's weird um if you were starving to death in space and all you had to eat was poisonous mushrooms I, I'm pretty sure your log would be fucked up too all these people are weird Organic growth. At the thickest sections of tangled growth, bulbous knots form a shape eerily close to that of a human body. As you listen, you can hear the rasp of labored breathing. So did they die? I don't think they're dead. I think they're I just... I think they're, like, absorbed by the growth, maybe? They're part of the, the mushroom consciousness now. Torn up floor grating. How is it torn up? It got pushed up from below, so what yeah. happened? Did something come up through it? Whoa. That is a long way down. Oh, we can jump down in there. No, we can't. Yeah, it's, a, it's like it's got a swirly thing, see? Um, so it looks like we're going to have to find a ladder and go into the depths of hell. A profusion of gnarled growth has spread through the sleeping block like roots, covering every surface in the same manner as a choking vine. Uh, uh, the other thing said this... What? I want to go to the party. <laughs> I want to go to there. I want to go to the monster party. Ooh. Hello. What? Father had a tongue that was also black. Is anyone there? They didn't care for us. We didn't care for them. And so it happened again and again. Skin like a crocodile and eyes like sin. The algae consumed them from within. Another gruesome victim of the indiscriminate slaughter. This one has a strangely. Oh, Looks like he didn't even manage to get out of his bunk. Oh, these are the children. This one has a strangely wistful look on his face, as if it were imagining an escape onto the cheery landscape on the walls. I think this is the children's area. You think so? Mm -hmm. Looks like a baby. This one has this... been savage. Its leg is nothing more than a tendon strapped bone. Okay, so that PDA. Grant Peterson. No, it's, it's... It's an adult, sorry. You know what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. The shit I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean it. My job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my coworker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. <laughs> Isabella's been talking to me. I hope she doesn't have any ideas. I'm really not into that. Even if she was a guy, she's just so difficult to deal with. I think she purposefully leaves some shadow of a doubt that she might have some feelings for Harry just so that he'll hang around. Yes. The poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy, but it's also the teeniest bit sweet. No, only weirdos think that. Only, only weirdos do that. Well, the ship is populated by weirdos, so... I know. If I was on that ship, I'd just... I'd... Give up? I'd get... I'd, I'd be with Samantha. Yeah. 
I can understand why Anderson did what he did. He was like, Samantha, you're the only one who understands me. I know. They are weird. And Isabella is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha said she was a bitch. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I think Jupiter is finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. He thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Really, I don't. She gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. I love that little kitten. Big kitten. I'm not looking forward to what's about to happen. He's going to say something fucked up about that cat. Isabella smacked Harry straight across the face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I would have been flattered, poor guy. Oh, but he has a crush on him, remember? I'm starting to think that some guy who dated a feminist and it ended poorly wrote this story. That's line. what I was saying before, <laughs> how it's like, I think that that's like, you know. This seems like a huge straw feminist problem. Like, <laughs> this is that it sounded like something that a, that a guy would write about what a girl would do. Do you know? Yeah, this is definitely. Like, this storyline right here is definitely written by a man. It's kind of like how, you know, if, if like, I were to write a story about, like, an ex-boyfriend and I painted them as this, like, humongous asshole and people would be like, okay, so a guy probably didn't write this, a girl wrote this. <laughs> yes. You know? <laughs> because Isabella seems like not someone who's real <laughs> at all. I think he's literally writing about his ex-girlfriend. Who was like, yeah, I'm a feminist, but really she was just a nightmare. <laughs> she wasn't a feminist. Yeah. There are definitely people who call themselves feminists who are not. Yeah, no, there's like racist people, sexist, uh, misandrist people, and like transphobic people who say, oh yeah, I'm a feminist, but they're just saying the word. Okay, Stacey and I are feminists, but there are people who will say, oh, well, I'm a feminist, and then they'll say something extremely bigoted or misandrist or transphobic or whatever yeah. and they'll use a bunch of like feminist lingo intermixed with that so that if you go I don't think that's right they'll go well then you're not a real feminist and so it's like yeah definitely that's the person who's saying something that you go that seems really mean not the, not actually, a, feel, a yeah. feminist like if some woman is like all 100% of men are rapists no, that's not, not feminism. Feminism. If a woman goes, men should be blah blah blah, and men are like this, blah blah blah. First, like that's not a feminist. Or if a woman goes like, says something transphobic, and says that's feminism, it's not feminism. No. Okay, they're just they're just an asshole. They're just an asshole. Okay, yep. using. There's always gonna majority of people who are feminists or gay rights activists or like. Uh, equality activists are normal human beings who believe what they say. There's always going to be some people who are that but also an asshole so they'll use like a really good cause to as a shield to say mean things to other people. Yeah, it's kind of like you know, most most religious people don't, like, hate other people for who they are, but there's always, like, that minority of religious people who use religion as, like, an excuse to be assholes, you know? Yeah, because they'll be like, the Bible says it's okay to be racist, but it doesn't say that, and most Christians would be like, no, it's not okay. Like, like what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, majority of Christians are nice, and... Like, because literally Christianity tells people, like, be nice, you know? <laughs> it literally says in the Bible, be nice. Yeah. And, like, then they'll be, like, they'll choose, like, one tiny sentence about why it's okay to be not nice. Yeah. So, it's like that, like, you know? I mean, it's like, there's also, like, a ton of stuff in there that hasn't been updated for a very long time. What we're trying to say is... This guy had a nightmare of an ex-girlfriend, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but this clearly is written as some sort of, like, fantasy like, shit. Like, she treated me like garbage. Yeah. Take that, Judith. I love how it's just, like, it just feels really shoehorned in. I think, no, I, th I don't think it seems shoehorned in. I think it seems funny. It, yeah. It's, 
Everything is so uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing? I've been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so, but I want to make sure. I, it would help me sleep a little better. Why do you care? What? Maybe, like, he doesn't want to, like... Maybe he's being a bro? Yeah, well, maybe he doesn't want to, like, hit on or have, like, feelings for Harry if she's, like, actually interested in him. You know? Oh, like, could, like, he wants to see if Harry's gay? Or like, bisexual, I mean? Yeah, or maybe he just, like, he's, like, you know, he doesn't want to be, like, hitting on him if she's interested in him and, like, he seems interested in her. Yeah. Interdepartmental pool to win 64 days of leave? What a joke. Kitchen, security, and maintenance aren't even eligible when they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh, wait, I guess that makes sense. This fungus shit is everywhere. It's already in the methane collection plant. Shelby's such a cow. She says she hopes it gives me cancer. But the way, but that way, I could start over with new organs, courtesy of Kane Corporation, of course. I told her that there was only one organ I really wanted, but that Harry was too busy following Isabella. Shelby said, oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. But I'm not a girl. Could have been worse. I just hope she can keep my secret. I don't want everyone involved in my business. This mushroom plan that hydroponics came up with is not working. If anything, it's made life in the plant just a little more grueling. Grant seems like the only normal person here, and he's just like, everyone's insane. Everyone's nuts. <laughs> what is wrong with everyone? And then she's like, you go, girl. And he's like, what? He's <laughs> like, okay, we are not friends. We're not friends. Don't talk to me. Yeah. People have been complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear it's not the plant. I can smell it too. I shit in the vents. Shit in the vents. <laughs> I hate everything I shit in the vents. <laughs> Emergency rations. I snuck some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I noticed just today that Harry has the most adorable way of stuffing his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite, then shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, the simple things. Aw, Grant, just tell you, Harry how you feel. Well, maybe not, but whatever. Power's out in places around the ship. Hopefully the plant isn't next. Whoa, sorry. Um, that sure wouldn't end well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the tremors. I can only make assumptions. Oh, God, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all of this either. He's such a little guy. I've been following Isabella around to get closer to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he could ever care about me. Oh, man. Grant, I hope you and your cat get out safe. Usually well, in movies, I, usually in, like, really scary movies, the cat's fine. The animal? I mean, if the... if. I remember when I first watched Alien, Ripley runs out the door and I go, what about the cat? And she goes, oh, what about the cat? And she goes back and fights the xenomorph in order to get the cat. Yeah. Of course, she has to put the cat in a cage because the cat's not going to fucking do what she cat's wants. The cat's like, what the hell? <laughs> I just remember this one scene where the cat's in a cage and there's a xenomorph and this cat's like, fuck <laughs> off. I can take you. Yeah. Cats. If it was a dog, you'd just be like, come on, AG, let's go. And he'd be like, okay. <laughs> cats are like, cats don't give a shit. I bet the cat's fighting Samantha right now. <laughs> I bet the cat and Samantha are friends. Yeah. Cat's like, good, all these assholes are dead. Eating the bodies? Maybe the cat killed everybody. Cat let Samantha out, and Samantha killed everyone. Cat's like... Can you imagine? Okay, the cat is sitting outside, like, the viewing port of Samantha, and they're both looking at each other. Like, you know how it's, like... They're like evil masterminds together. You know how, you like, know? in scary movies, when the two evil things, they just look at each other? And mm -hmm. they're just both just staring at each other? Mm -hmm. And then the cat goes, and just pause the button, and it opens. <laughs> and Samantha comes out, wiggles out, blah, 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 and mm -hmm. then they look at each other. And then it begins. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the the cat got... S Jupiter. That's her name. Pretty sure that Jupiter got sick of everybody's shit, and she was just like, you know what? I'm going to take all you assholes down. <laughs> she looks at Samantha, and Samantha's like, let me out, man. I could do it. I could make it happen. <laughs> the cat's like, okay, I'll play your game. Boop! 
<laughs> it's like when cat. It's like, and then you go, "Why'd you put her? Why? Why'd you put her? Why?" And the cat gives you the same look that a cat gives you after it knocks your shit over. Yeah, where it's like, where it just like looks at you and like knocks the water. Do you remember Tenchi? Yeah. I remember my old roommate's cat. We were sitting there, and the cat jumps on the table. And I'm looking right at Tenchi, and Tenchi knows Yeah, that I'm looking at Tenchi. Tenchi's looking at me, sticks his paw in my water, and then knocks it over. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I had never had a cat before because I'm allergic, so I'm just looking at this cat like, what? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? They'll, they'll do that, too. They'll just, like, stare at you and, like, push... Push the water glass off. He's not the only cat that does that. And you know why he does it? Because he like he thinks your reaction is amusing. <laughs> That's such a cat thing. It's like he's watching his toys dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those guys who went to work on station station B haven't come back yet. I've been trying to sleep as much as I can now so I can stay on my toes when everything goes to hell. I've cried a little as well, partly because of Jupiter and partly for reasons I don't understand. Wait, I it's gonna end up being the cat? Why is it every time we make up a story? Go back for a second. I want to make sure that we didn't miss we the didn't miss We didn't anything. Oh, shit. Uh, Oops. This fungus shit is everywhere. Uh. Ah, oh, the simple things. Power's out. Hopefully the planet is next. Uh, Doesn't oh, have... yeah, he hasn't seen Jupiter. That's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, partly because of Jupiter, and partly for reasons I don't understand. So, yeah, Jupiter was just like, see ya, I'm out to let Samantha out. <laughs> I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. I know it will just confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here, but Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know. Will I ever have another chance to open my heart to someone? I'll have to hope so. I just can't tell Harry. Harry seems like a very emotionally uh, fragile person. Yeah.